friends welcome you all to my channel innovative amazing science in my earlier videos we had seen different types of experiments but today I'm going to do something different that is practical based actually I got a request in my mail uh, ma'am could you please show some uh, practical based uh, experiments uh, maybe for the plants, something like that. And it was written over there, I would say, that uh, nowadays, uh, due to this lockdown, the cost of the onions have shooted up. So, can we grow some onions? Can you show some practical experiments related to onions? That was quite interesting. So, I thought, okay, uh, I can show that uh, onions, how we can grow onions. At the same time, I can also show you or we can both learn how and what happens and how this growth of the onions takes place. So basically today we are going to study about the growth of the onion bulb and we are going to see how the root and the shoot part is growing. So basically today we are going to study how this onion bulb is going to grow. And uh, we would have noticed earlier also when we place the seed underground and wait for it to grow. The growth takes place. It's not that the growth takes place upwards but the growth also takes place downwards. Do you know why this is happening? Exactly. This happens due to the presence of the meristematic tissue. Yes. Because meristematic tissues are the tissues which undergo rapid cell division. They keep on dividing. That is the reason that these cells in the root and the shoot keep on growing. Let us first understand the word meristem. The term meristem was first used in the year 1858 by Carl Willem von Nageli in his book. It is derived from a Greek word merism that means to divide in recognition to his inherent function. So basically this meristematic tissue means repeated cell division. Meristem is a type of tissue found in the plants. It consists of undifferentiated cells capable of cell divisions. So cells in the meristem is capable of the growth of the other tissues present in the plants. So there are three types of meristematic tissue. The apical meristematic tissue found at the tips. The intercalary meristematic tissue found in the middle and the lateral meristematic tissue found at the sides. So, in this practical session, we are going to study the apical meristematic tissue of the onion bulb. That is, the SAM and the RAM. What is the SAM and the RAM? It's nothing but it's shoot apical meristem and the root apical meristem. Isn't that easy to remember Sam and Ram? So let's go ahead and see what and how this onion bulb is growing. Are you ready? Let's get started. The things required are two glasses, pair of scissors, two onion bulbs more or less of the same size, and here I have taken cardboard, waste cardboard, which is available at your home. You can just cut it round in between. I have taken two. And of course, water bottle. So my first step is, I'll fill water to both the glasses. Good. 
then I'll take one of the onion and you can see here the lower portions. I'm going to dip this lower portion inside the water. So I'll place this cardboard over here and just dip it inside. And to the second one also I'm going to do the same thing. This is the lower portion and we are going to observe what is going to happen. I'll place this cardboard here and again this lower portion I'm going to place it inside the water. And I'll just keep it uh, for some days and we'll just take the observation what is going to happen. And we will leave this undisturbed. We are not going to touch this. So I have kept both the classes along with the onion bulbs undisturbed. But if I'm going to keep this undisturbed, both the glasses with the onion bulbs and water level is also same, I know and even you know that the growth is going to happen equally. Even the root or the shoot, everything is going to grow equally. So how am I going to judge or what difference can I make if I'm keeping both of them as it is? I cannot make. So what I'll do now, I'll take one side, okay? Can you see this? Structures, okay? So these are nothing but the cells and the tissues and the root tips. So I'm going to cut this off. I'll just cut this because growth happens from the apex. So I'm going to cut this. From the roots and from this upper part, the shoots. So I'm going to dip this again. So now if you observe both the onion bulbs are placed in the water but this side I have not cut any portions neither cells nor the tip portion nothing I have cut I have kept as it is. But to this side of the onion bulb I have cut this portions as well as this portions because we know that growth always happens from the tips or the apex but I have cut this so let's observe after about three to four days what is the growth that is going to happen we'll wait for three days so after three days let us just observe what has happened to this onion bulbs to this onion bulb to which I had cut this portion as well as this portion can you see? No growth has happened. Nothing has happened. Okay, nothing. It is as it is. Okay. Let me see to this side what has happened. If you take a closer view, oh my God. See, lovely. How the growth of this root apical meristem has happened. And this is the shoot apical meristem. This tip is the shoot apical meristem. So, when it was left undisturbed and when it got water and everything which was required and we know that the apex or the root part, the tip part of the meristem helps in growing. So in both the parts like the root part and the shoot part, the growth has already happened and it looks lovely I would say. So what I will do is Let's observe after about four to five days more and see what is that growth extent. Let's see. I'll just keep it again inside the water. Okay. And this one I'll keep as it is. So let us observe after eight to nine days what is happening to the onion bulbs. So today is the ninth day. And let us observe what has happened to our onion bulbs. So coming to this, can you see nothing has happened? Because from the starting only, we had cut this tips where the cell division occurs and where the growth occurs. The tips were already cut. So it is not going to grow and it did not grow only. But this one, do you remember on the third day? The growth has already started and today is almost the ninth day. Can you see 
inside the glass can you see inside okay i'll just show you by bringing it out oh my super god see how lovely it is looking and how big it is how big it is see lovely okay see how long it has grown so basically in this activity or in this uh, practical what we concluded we were just seeing that uh, we are going to study about the meristem and that is specifically the apical meristem because meristem as we know there are three categories or three types of meristem so for this particular activity we were seeing the apical meristem and this apical meristem tissue is divided into two parts that is the shoot apical meristem and the root apical meristem so this is the shoot apical meristem and this is the root apical meristem if you enjoyed this practical session of how to grow the onions do like it and do not forget to press the bell icon which is right there on your screen and if you want to share your experience with me do put it in the comment box or do write a mail so that i can share out your experience through an experiment in my next videos till then take care bye bye